welcome to the project demonstration of rf remote control pole, uh, pole climbing robots so here we are going to control the this robot movement in up and down motion with the help of rf remote inputs so these two control buttons so this one will go the down and this one will go the up uh, motion for the robots so when we press the switches the data will be encoded with the help of ht2e and the encode data will be transmitted through this rf transmitter so the data will be received by this rf receiver module and it will give for the decoding so after decoding the same data means 0 0 means so here the consider d0 d1 d2 d3 data bits so when we press this one so the d0 will is going to be the 0 and remaining all are 1 1 1 same here also so when we press the switch so these four data bits so d0 d1 d2 d3 d0 is going to be the low and remaining all are high same data will given input to the microcontroller pic 16 72 at uh, b0 b1 b2 b3 pins here i'm mentioning d0 d1 d2 d3 are the data bits and the pins of the microcontrollers are b0 b1 b2 b3 and here we coded the microcontroller so if we receive the b0 means d0 nothing but b0 pin is low then we are going to control this robot movement up uh, down movement with the help of l29h motor driver so which has the h bridge circuit inside that so the purpose of the h bridge is if you want to control the dc motor in bi-directional mode so in only forward direction mode we can use only one switch but if you want to control that then we need to change the polarity of this dc motor in order to change the polarity we need to use the h bridge circuits so without h bridge only we can change the polarity by giving the digital input from the microcontroller means zero zero motor off one zero motor clockwise rotation and zero one motor anti-clockwise rotation so these are the three signals provided for the uh, more robot movements to this l298 motor driver so here the whole system getting power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp rechargeable battery so which is a rechargeable battery so if you want to charge a battery we need to on this power cable and then it will be fully charged in a duration of 6 to 8 hours maximum so the red LED indication will show the status of battery is charging so after the time duration completion you can just disconnect the power supply to this transformer and then to on the kits this is the main on off switch okay above is the on below is the off so when we on that so the 12 volts dc power supply is given as input to the l298 motor driver so this motor driver consists of 7805 regulator on board so after 7805 regulator we will get the 5 volts dc so that particular dc voltage is the main operating voltage for the whole circuitry so in our project inputs are rf output is l298 motor driver so let us see demonstration so here we're using the three uh, BO DC motors of 60 RPM. Three are attached and three are connected in parallel. So all rotates in one direction based on the signal from the microcontroller. So before on that, first of all on the RF transmitter and then on it. So here this LED shows the signal receiving status from the RF. So if we disconnect this power supply, then automatically there is no light on. So you can check that. So when you are uh, providing input to that, if the robot is not controlling, then check the LED status on the RF receiver. Then only uh, the data will be executed by the microcontroller. So and also we can see one more LED indication on the motherboard, the green LED indication. Okay, so after execution, don't forget to remove the power supply to the RF transmitter otherwise unnecessarily the battery will get drained.